What's the best city to buy a home in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex right now? Stay tuned. Keila McGraw, your favorite Fort Worth realtor. And when you are thinking about a place to live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, chances are you have some cities in mind already. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the cities in the Dallas-Fort Worth area with the best real estate markets right now. We're pulling information from a recent Wallet Hub rankings of the top cities in the country. When I saw the list, the cities that were in this article weren't a total surprise, but I have to be honest, this last city was a total shocker. But the number of North Texas cities in this article was really great to see. 11 of the top 30 cities were in Texas and 10 of those were here in North Texas. To rank the best real estate markets, Wallet Hub compared 300 cities of varying sizes across 17 key indicators of housing market attractiveness and economic strength. I've also sprinkled in some median home prices of these cities that are mentioned in the article as well as some things that residents have shared about why their city is a great place to live. And topping the list for number one in this ranking is Briscoe, Texas. So Frisco has a population of just over 200,000 people. It is located just north of Dallas. Frisco has a median home price of $650,000. So Frisco being at the top of this list is not a surprise. Frisco is consistently at the top of list when it comes to best places to move in Texas, best places to live in Texas and things like that. So this wasn't a surprise. Now, what does Frisco have to offer? Some of the things that can be mentioned are that there is plenty to do in the city. If you're looking for entertainment, you can head to the Dr. Pepper Ballpark, which hosts the Frisco Rough Riders minor league baseball team. You can also tour the Dallas Cowboys practice facilities in their headquarters, the Star, or for our soccer lovers, you can grab a ticket to the Toyota Stadium, which is home of FC Dallas. So plenty to do in Frisco, and we can't forget about the PGA for all of our golf lovers. The PGA just moved its headquarters to Frisco, and along with it, there are also two championship golf courses. There's the conference center and a resort style hotel. So Frisco, Texas also has Frisco Independent School District, and Frisco ISD has an accountability rating of an A, which is issued by the Texas Education Agency. Number two on this list is Allen, Texas. So Allen has a population of about 108,000 people. Allen is located about 25 minutes north of Dallas, and it is actually the fourth largest city in Collin County. It's a very attractive city to live in. Most people know Allen for its Allen Premium Outlets, which is located just off of Highway 75. You can spend the whole day there shopping and that is not the only place where you can spend the whole day shopping Allen just has a, a wealth of shopping opportunities there. And I think its location is also key since it is centrally located just north of Dallas. The median home price in Allen is about $514,000. And Allen Independent School District has an accountability rating of NA issued by the Texas Education Agency. Number three on the list is McKinney, Texas. And just like the previous two cities that we mentioned, McKinney is also located in Collin County. McKinney has a population of about 208,000 people and the median home price in McKinney is about $519,000. McKinney is also about 30 minutes north of Dallas and it is the third largest city in Collin County. Some cool things to note about McKinney is it does have a really cool kind of eccentric downtown. It's walkable, lots of trendy restaurants. And, and shopping opportunities there. So definitely, if McKinney is a place you're considering moving to, definitely check out the downtown area. McKinney Independent School District has an accountability rating of a B by the Texas Education Agency. Next on our list is Denton, Texas, which is ranked the eighth best real estate market in the country. The population of Denton is about 139,000 people. It is kind of known as a college town or a college city. It houses Texas Women's University as well as the University of North Texas. The median home price 
price in Denton, Texas is about $375,000. And Denton Independent School District has an accountability rating of a B. Denton is located in Denton County, and Denton is about 30 to 40 minutes to Dallas or Fort Worth, Texas. Next on our list and ranked number 10 in the country is Richardson, Texas. Richardson has a population of about 123,000 people, and the median home price in Richardson is about $423,000. Richardson is located in Dallas County and it's actually only about 15 minutes to downtown Dallas, which makes it very attractive for those folks who may work or need to commute back and forth to downtown Dallas. Richardson is home to the Telecom Corridor, which consists of a lot of technology companies. Richardson also has over 800 acres of parks, recreational facilities, golf courses, and hiking and biking trails to keep you active. Richardson Independent School District has an accountability rating of a B. Coming in at number 11 is Fort Worth, Texas. Fort Worth has a population of about 950,000 people and the median house price is about $341,000. Fort Worth is the 12th largest city in the country and one of the things that attracts a lot of people to Fort Worth is its low cost of living. So Fort Worth's cost of living is about 3% below the national average and a lot of people don't know that Fort Worth is the third fastest growing city in the country. Fort Worth Independent School District has an accountability rating of B. And if you want to learn more about Fort Worth, we do have some videos out there that will definitely dive into the ins and outs of Fort Worth, pros and cons and things like that. Coming in at number 17 on this list is Carrollton, Texas. Carrollton has a population of about 136,000 people and the median home price in Carrollton is $411,000. So Carrollton is the smallest city on this list in terms of population, but it still packs a lot into what makes it a great real estate market. Carrollton is known for its high quality of life, abundant parks, schools, and safe neighborhoods. It's centrally located, so it's easy to travel north, south, east, and west of the Metroplex. There are three major highways that travel through the city of Carrollton. That includes the President George Bush Turnpike, Interstate Highway 35E, and State Highway 121. Carrollton Farmers Branch Independent School District has an accountability rating of a B. And here is another Collin County city. Coming in at number 19 on this list is Plano, Texas. Plano has a population of about 290,000 people. The median home price in Plano is about $487,000. Plano is also located in Collin County. It's about 25 to 30 minutes to Dallas-Fort Worth Airport or Love Field um, Airport in Dallas. And Plano has consistently been recognized as one of the most affordable places to live and a great place for first-time home buyers. Plano's Independent School District has an accountability rating of a B. Coming in at number 23 on this list is Grand Prairie, Texas. Grand Prairie has a population of about 200,000 people and the median home price in Grand Prairie, Texas is about $300,000. $40,000. Now, Grand Prairie is located in three different counties. The city is spread between Dallas County, Tarrant County, and Ellis County. The city has been busy bringing entertainment and shopping options to Grand Prairie. The Grand Prairie Premium Outlets is there, as well as Epic Central, which is a 172-acre park site located just off of George W. Bush Tollway. Epic Central is home to Grand Prairie Public safety building, Epic Waters Indoor Water Park, the Summit Recreation Center for adults ages 50 and up, the Epic and Playground Adventures, which includes an all-inclusive playground. So there's plenty to do in Grand Prairie and Grand Prairie Independent School District has an accountability rating of a B. And coming in at number 27 on this list of 300 cities with the best real estate markets is Irving, Texas. And I was kind of shocked to see Irving coming in at number 27 on this list, but I'm happy to share some great information about that city. So Irving is a popular choice for home buyers for a few reasons. It has five Fortune 500 companies in the city. It is centrally located in the Metroplex, making it very easy to get around the Metroplex, including Dallas and Fort Worth. And it is close to both major airports, Love Field and Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. Irving Independent School District has 
has an accountability rating of a B. So it's exciting to see that 10 of the top 30 real estate markets are right here in North Texas. One thing that really stood out to me that I think is important that out of those 10 cities, all of them had pretty strong school accountability ratings. And if you know anything about real estate, schools matter. Do you have any questions about this list? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.